let's understand the idmt relay characteristics so we will discuss in brief about the 50 and 51 relay characteristics and their relationship so first of all this one is the 51 relay this is idmt idmt relay 51 inverse definite minimum time inverse definite minimum time so it has basically two parts it has basically two parts one is the inverse inverse characteristic up to this point inverse characteristic up to this point basically this 51 is used for the overcurrent protection in electrical power system network so this is the up to this point it has the inverse characteristic that means it will it will maintain the inverse characteristic uh, between the time and current in the tcc curve time current characteristic curve in the x axis current y axis time so it is the only curve where time is plotted in the uh, y axis and current is plotted in the x axis that's why it is called tcc time current characteristic curve so for the idmt 51 relay up to this inverse point where this arrow is marked up to this point this relay will behave with the inverse characteristic and the second part is the definite time characteristic so this relay has two words one is inverse characteristic another one is definite time so up to this point inverse characteristic is maintained it may be 20 percent 30 percent or 50 percent uh, of the relay this this depends on the relay manufacturer uh, relay manufacturer to relay manufacturer so up to this point they should maintain the inverse characteristic and after that this is just like a straight line just like a straight line in para, uh, parallel with the uh, x-axis or current axis so this is definite time so 51 is now explained now this is coming just like l safe this is the instantaneous or the 50 this is instantaneous element of the idmt relay so instantaneous element uh, why it is called instantaneous in case of any uh, high set uh, you know that a high short circuit fault condition definitely it will not wait to get the trip command up to certain you know time delay it should be it should be tripped instantaneously it should be tripped instantaneously but definitely not at zero zero millisecond uh, it will take uh, it will take the relay will take some uh, time to uh, to offer it so that means uh, there should not be any intentional time delay so that's why it is called instantaneous so instantaneous element will offer it instantly instantaneously when there is a uh, high very high magnitude short circuit fault current so this is the instantaneous element and in combination with this two 51 and 50 the the, the relay will protect this area the relay will protect for this 51 and 50 in this way so this zone is protected this left hand side and this lower end side this zone is protected by this 51 and 50 elements of the idmt relay so this is the basic concept of any idmt relay for the protection coordination in electrical power system network and with the help of this same principle uh, i have already prepared 
makes a lot of videos using ETAP software. You can check out those. If you have any comments, any doubts related to protection, real estate and protection coordination, uh, you can put your comments in the comment box so that I can come back to you.